All right, everyone, gather round for the story of the century and let me tell you why we are all going to the pound? Picture it, the floofinators on high alert guarding the shepherd-controlled territory when suddenly, Leo, yes, our beloved roadblock, decides he's too cool for duty today, and decides to break protocol? Now, usually, Leo's skill set is limited to lying across doorways, hallways, and any other place inconvenient for everyone else. But today, oh, today, he was feeling rebellious, and gives us this look, something between watch this and I'm going on a secret mission, and before anyone can stop him, he's heading straight for the neighbor's yard faster than a jackalope in January, no briefing, no plan, just pure road fluff but on the move. So there I am, trying to figure out how to get him back before this turns into a thing, when who should burst onto the scene but the infamous caveman dad, yaw, yeah, all six foot three of knuckle dragging grumbling, determined dad energy, he sees Leo trotting toward freedom, and I can practically hear his thoughts, oh, no, not today, buddy, but what he should have said was, hold my beer, because he charged after Leo, like some kind of action movie star ready to make a heroic tackle, but instead of smooth moves, caveman dad miscalculates his steps, yeah, you guessed it, the tumble to end all tumbles, it was like slow motion, one second, he's running with purpose, and the next, legs, arms, dust, and a solid, echoing thud on the lawn, I know what you're thinking, and yes the lawn is okay, meanwhile, Leo's just standing there with this dazed look like, did I cause that, as Leo blinked in confusion, I pulled Penny aside and told her it was up to us to save our brother from the wrath of caveman dad, Q operation cover up, Penny went running over to distract dad wagging her tail, tilting her head like the cute puck that she is, and that's when her wires must have crossed and I think she misunderstood the assignment, because she suddenly stomped him in the no-nose followed by the greatest headbutt I've ever seen, I threw myself into my finest I'm just here guarding the yard, dad at, staring at a random spot on the fence as if I was the one who'd been patrolling the whole time, and then, for the final touch, I did a little sniff around dad's feet like I had nothing at all to do with Leo's escape plan, Caveman Dad was not buying it, at first. He slowly gets up, glaring at each of us like we formed a doggy conspiracy which, we sort of did, but just as he's about to demand answers, Penny dives into phase 2. She starts with a classic distraction, running in circles, yipping excitedly like she's seen a squirrel or something. And Caveman Dad? Oh, he can't resist. You know him, distracted by anything with fluff and chaos. And Leo? By now. He's sauntering back over like he was always right there, never left, no, just a figment of dad's imagination. By the time caveman dad turns back around, Leo's planted himself squarely on the porch, giving his best who, me, face, classic roadblock move. Dad looked at all three of us, like he was calculating the likelihood that we all just made a fool of him, but finally, he just sighs mutters something about crazy dots and promising to take us to some place called the pound under his breath, and shuffles back inside, and the floofinators, another mission completed, another day of holding our ground, and our secrets, so that's how we saved Leo's fluffy butt from justice, and honestly, it was pretty perfect, now we'll just have to see if caveman dad remembers this next time he thinks he's going to outrun a great Pyrenees, Sadie out.